Hello guys and welcome to this video. Excuse my appearance because I'm literally wearing my pajamas right now since a lot of my clothes are packed up and I just threw on some makeup to film this segment. But if you haven't guessed already from the title of this video, I have a little life update and yes, we are moving out of this apartment. So I kind of wanted to do a segment about why we're moving, what our future plans are, and I also wanted to do a little Q&A on some of the most asked questions on my apartment tour. So I'm gonna jump right into that, but before I get started, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and drop a comment to say hi. Also, if you have any questions after this, leave it in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So just a little background info, when I made my apartment tour video, I briefly mentioned that we signed a two-year lease when we moved in here. And we also signed it at the end of summer 2020, which was still kind of the peak of COVID. I don't know if you guys are aware of the current rental market in New York City right now, but it is insane. Rent prices have been spiking up the past couple of months and I've read so many articles and heard from some of my friends that their landlords are just increasing the rent by an unheard of amount in normal times. Basically the rent prices right now are at its all time high and there's just multiple factors that affect this including not enough supply based on the demand of rental units, the rise of mortgage interest rates which is pushing more people to rent rather than buy, and also this time of the year is the peak season for renting so generally prices are higher than like the winter time. So anyway that's kind of like the background of what's going on in New York right now but our unit is actually rent stabilized meaning the building can only increase it to a fixed percentage once the lease term is up. Our monthly rent actually didn't increase by a lot at least compared to what I've been seeing in other places. So you guys may be wondering why we're moving out of this apartment then and the reason is my husband and I made it a goal to purchase our first apartment or home once our lease term was up. Obviously we love this apartment and it was our first apartment together so it has a lot of sentimental value but we knew Knew that we didn't want to do this for long term and it wasn't smart for us to keep paying this high of a rent when we can be putting that towards a mortgage on an apartment that we actually own. So that's why we made the decision not to resign our lease and we will be in a temporary living situation for the next couple of months. Still in Queens, not too far off, but it'll help us while we prepare to close on our next apartment or home. We also had to factor in different things when making this decision because if we were to renew, we would have had to re-sign a lease for a minimum of one year and if we were to buy a place while we were still in this lease, for the overlapping months, we would have had to pay the rent here as well as pay for the mortgage on our new home, which we weren't planning on doing. So ultimately, yes, I will miss this apartment dearly, but I feel very fortunate that we have this temporary living situation set up not too far away and we're not going to be tied to a lease so it'll definitely benefit us when we're ready to move out into our new place. I wanted to give you guys this update because the setting in my future vlogs may look a little bit different but I promise to still show you guys the beauty of New York City because I'll probably be in Manhattan at least a couple of times a week for going into work and also just hanging out in the city. I hope you guys will still look forward to my future videos. So now I wanted to do a Q&A on some of the most asked questions in my apartment tour video and I didn't reply to some of them in the comments because eventually I wanted to do this Q&A segment. So let's get right into the first question. Where is your apartment located? So I mentioned this in the video, but I still received a lot of questions for it. My apartment is located in Long Island City, which if you guys aren't familiar, it's in Queens, but it's very close proximity to Manhattan and Brooklyn. That's why a lot of young professionals, including ourselves, like to live in this area because commuting to Manhattan, especially if you work in Midtown, is just super convenient and there's so many subway options available nearby. So the next question is how much rent do you 
you pay? And this was probably one of the most asked questions. Some people were like guessing in the comments and some were like, you guys must pay a million dollars a month, but I will reveal right now how much we actually pay. So the monthly rent we paid was $39.98 for our specific unit and we received 3 months free when we signed our lease. I will say that our unit was a little bit higher than the other units in this building because we are over 40 floors higher up and because of the views, they were able to price it higher. Also, this building was a little bit more expensive than the other one bedroom high rises that we saw around the area because it has luxury amenities like our rooftop pool with which other buildings didn't offer. Also not to mention, we live near like seven different subway lines, which if you guys commute to work in New York City, that is better than what any luxury amenity can offer. So all of those reasons probably factor into the monthly rent cost of our unit here. Next question is how much square footage is your apartment? So I actually don't have the exact number, but it's around 700 square feet. I would say that's pretty standard, if not a little bit more than what you would get for a one bedroom in New York City. The thing that we liked about our apartment was the closet space because when you're searching for an apartment in New York, a lot of one bedrooms only have like one or two closets and we knew that that was not gonna be enough for us. So our unit actually had three closets in addition to one laundry closet which you know you can also put some storage in that helped us tremendously while living in this space the next question is would you recommend living in Long Island City I would 100% recommend living here especially for those of you who need to commute to Midtown Manhattan for work it's super close by and it's only one or two subway stops away depending on where you are also there's a lot of high-rise apartments nearby so there's a lot of good restaurants and bars and parks so this area has definitely been up and coming for the past couple of years my husband and I both commute to midtown Manhattan for work and it's only a 15 to 20 minute subway ride also the rent prices here will be cheaper than living in Manhattan for the same type of luxury high-rise I'm sure in Manhattan it would be 1 to 2k more for you know this kind of unit compared to living in LIC I mentioned this before but it's also very close to Brooklyn specifically Greenpoint and Williamsburg is very close to our apartment and we would go there a lot to you know just have brunch and hang out so the last question is kind of a bonus question what is one thing you loved and one thing that you did not love about your apartment slash neighborhood so the one thing that I loved and that I would probably miss the most about living here is the convenience factor yes the views are beautiful and our amenities are great but just having the convenience of the seven subway lines around us really made a difference in my everyday life. The commute to work was unbeatable and if I had to run an errand in the city, it was just very easy to hop on a subway and get there. Also, we have a car, so if we wanted to drive into Manhattan or Brooklyn, we literally just have to cross a bridge, which is right by us. So the one thing that I would not miss at all is parking. Parking is a real struggle around here and it only really applies to you if you have a car like we do but it's very, very, very limited. A lot of these places have alternate side parking rules, so you're not allowed to park on the weekdays, or it'll be metered parking, so only a max of two hours. So because of that, a lot of people rent out a parking space in some of these private lots, but mind you, it's like a minimum of $500 per month. Yeah, $500 per month, in addition to the monthly rent you pay for your apartment. So we were definitely not trying to do that and we just had to look for a free parking spot that we can park in throughout the whole week every Sunday because normally we would only really use our car on the weekends and I'm not even exaggerating when I say $500 some places might be like four to four fifty but honestly the average parking lot price that we've seen is $500 honestly I have to give all the credit to my husband Sung because he was the one that would always circle around looking for parking and yeah I can't even take the credit for it so all props to him thank you for doing that for the past two years but I will not miss the parking situation here at all that wraps up the Q&A portion of this video and I just wanted to give you guys an update of what's going on in my life 
Hopefully I can provide you guys with an updated apartment tour soon once we close on our new home. We are still looking in the New York City area because we do have to commute into Manhattan for work. So I will keep you guys posted on that. If you guys want real time updates, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at hannahjymoon. But thank you guys for staying tuned and watching till the end and I will see you guys in my next video.